I already know that my shirt is gonna annoy me this entire time, but it's just a cute shirt and I wanna look good in this commentary, okay? It's a pain beauty. That's how the phrase goes, right? We must focus, articulate, Ange. I need vocal warm-ups. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. That's all I remember from like fourth grade, grade. That's literally all I remember from like fourth gr grade choir. Wow, I can't talk today. Welcome back! What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Az Azkaban. Azkaban? Am I saying that right? <laughs> Harry Potter fans everywhere start clicking away from the video. <laughs> I promise I'll learn it by the end of this. It is the one that I remember the most because I know there was like a time thing going on. I forgot if it was like reversing time or freezing time or something like that. Everyone in my comments have been saying like this is their favorite, like this is hands down one of the best. So I have pretty high expectations for this film. As you guys know, I'm actually starting to get obsessed with the Harry Potter films. It has been an experience and a half watching it with adult eyes. So if you guys want to check out the first two commentaries to the Harry Potter series, make sure you guys go watch those two videos and then come to that one. I promise those two are actually a really good time. Some of my favorite stuff that I've done so far on this channel and and so yeah, go, go away, goodbye. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't yet already, so you can stay tuned to all of my content. I post three times a week. If you guys haven't checked out my two new channels, I have a vlog channel and a gaming channel out right now. I am looking to get those monetized ASAP Rocky, so if you watch the content on there, it would be greatly appreciated. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary of this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and to future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all. Let's jump straight into the commentary. Haha. <laughs> Just chiming in. It's honestly the best score to start off a movie. If this doesn't get you hyped and ready for it, like, I don't know what will. Literally, what will? Nothing. That's the right answer. D don't act like you care about me and checking up on me and all that jazz. Lumos Maxima. Oh, he's doing like a light spell? Lumos Maxima. And he went blind. <laughs> I also like how they made a little like whirring sound for the light. Ooh, directing style different for sure. The vibe immediately changed. You're still here, are you? Yes. Say yes in that ungrateful way. How do you want me to say it then? Yes. Yes. You know what I just recently discovered? Dudley. Well, first of all, thank you for correcting me. It's the Dursleys, and this little kid's name is Dudley. Dudley is the actor in Queen's Gambit who freaking he like nailed it out of the ballpark. So good. Just thought you should know that fun fact. What are you doing to your poor dog? What are you smirking at? You giving the dog alcohol. That's like the equivalent of giving a drink to a child probably... Maybe worse to a dog, I don't know. What is it the boy's father did for Junior? And a drunk too, no doubt. That's a lie. You're calling Harry Potter's dad the drunk and you're out here giving brandy to the doggo? My dad wasn't a drunk. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, don't slander my father's name like that when I'm right there. <laughs> if there's something wrong with the bitch, something wrong with the pup. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, he's standing up for himself! Oh my gosh, I love it! Yeah, put your foot down! Ooh. 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 Oh my god, what are you doing to her? Is she gonna explode? Hilarious, but also violent? Wait, just kidding. She's not gaining weight. She's being filled with, like, helium, which is arguably scarier. <laughs> She's... <laughs> oh, it's gonna lift him! Please lift Vernon, too! <laughs> oh, Vernon getting yeeted in another movie? Oh my god, this is everything to me. That's literally what you get. Dudley's just like, eh, another day with Harry in the house. Is it just me or is it weird seeing Harry in like a button up? And like he's not in his sweater. Oh, is he running away? Please bring tell back. me. You bring him back now, 
you for the right. No, she deserves what she got. No! Keep away from me. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, the oh, this is the Harry that I was looking for. This is the Harry that I was literally like saying in the last film. Yeah, bite him. You're in wizarding school. Just do it. Not y'all in the comments were like, bro, she, he can't. He's gonna get in trouble. Where are they telling him? Where are they? Are they stopping him? Is he gonna get? He might get in trouble. But is he getting in trouble? I don't know. It's kind of violent, but like you know how like balloons after they release outside and you know like I don't mean to make this a little dark, but uh, how's she getting down if he's not gonna help her? You know, saying what? Who in the why? Why was there a random dog? You expect me to just forget about that dog going nah? Take her away, Ian. Yeah, take it away, Ian. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that thing to talk to me. We're back to you, Wendy. The Leaky Cauldron. Leaky Cauldron. I was there at Universal. I had food there. Nom, nom, nom. I don't really remember what I got, but nom, nom, nom. Yes! Wait, the music kind of fire here during this drive? Giving me hot, hot, oh, hot chocolate vibes you know, from Polar Express. Tell me that didn't like remind you of that. Maybe it was the tempo of it, right? Don't tell me you've never been here in a serious black. He was a big subaltern. You know who. Oh. Reckon you've heard of him? Have I heard of him? He only murdered my parents. Oh, this is like a B&B? Your uncle's sister was located a little south of Sheffield, sir. I don't know how that happened. Oh, it's so strange. I don't I'm not a, uh, I'm just, I was doing Luminous, Luminous, Luminous Maxima. Wasn't me. I broke the law. Underage wizards aren't allowed to use magic at home. Would have been nice if I knew that last commentary. <laughs> 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 We have a killer on the loose. Serious Black, you mean? But what's he got to do with me? <laughs> Nothing, of course. You're safe. <laughs> that was very convincing. Oh, uh, these are your new school books. I took the liberty of having them brought here. Harry just getting free stuff left and right, even though he's freaking loaded. <laughs> I don't trust any books nowadays. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, see, that's literally exactly the reason why. Housekeeping. Y'all should just invest in please do not disturb signs. That's what they're for, all right? Looks more like a pig with hair, if you ask me. That's rich coming for the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. Harry. Oh, Harry. They're so cute. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, I feel like your rat grew too. What is the lifespan of a rat? I would like to know at this moment in time, I did not know that he was Peter Pettigrew. Pettigrew. Maybe it's a magical rat, so he just lives forever. 13 years ago, when you stopped Voldemort, don't say his name, he still remains a faithful servant. You are the only thing that stands in the way of you know who. Oh my gosh, so he's out to get Harry Potter? And you expect me to believe that he's playing a 13 year old right now? Someone turn up the heat. Y'all got an ice problem? How'd you solve the ice problem? Ice problem. Name the movie. Hello. Oh my god, a ghost. Oh my gosh, salad fingers? Is that you? My god, Megamind? What is going on? Hello? When did Harry Potter become a freaking horror film? Oh, <laughs> man said... Oh, that shot is so good. And it's zoomed out. Oh, mm. I'm getting hyped. And it's only been like 24 minutes. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> Movie three and we got three times the candles. Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. Thanks, Dumbledore. Before we all become too befuddled by our excellent feast. This is why he's the greatest sorcerer. He knows words like befuddled. Good luck, Professor. Oh, of course he's the defense against the dark. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Of course, that's why you need to give me the chocolate hat. That's what I'm saying, Hermione. Also, do we think that this defense of the dark arts teacher is shady too? Maybe in a different way. One was evil, the other one was cocky. 
How do we feel about this one? I don't know, but I got my eyes on him. I mean, you actually fainted. Oh my gosh, your hair's not slicked back? <laughs> Hagrid, please, slowly next time. Our dinner's on the floor. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. Lumus Maxima. Maxima. Is that Dumbledore? He sounds different. Looks different. I think it is a different actor. <laughs> Wrong touch. Oh, yeah. Wait, the camera work is so good. You shall discover if you possess the sight. <laughs> Clearly, you don't have any. So, this is Emma, Th Emma, Emma Thompson? Oh my gosh, I'm the... How do I not know her name? Emma Thompson, yes, oh my gosh. I can't believe I doubted myself. I should have just said it with confidence. <laughs> Where did you come from? Been here all this time. Stop it, I literally just noticed while editing that she's putting the necklace away here. I'm dead. Oh! Ah! Ah! You have the Grim. It's among the darkest omens in our world. Dark omen? I mean, he was literally almost murdered as a child, so. Also, what kind of teacher? You're gonna scare a kid like that, a poor 13 year old? You're like, <laughs> you can't do that in front of a kid. He's gonna freak out. He'll flip. You guys ever seen those TikToks or videos of like a family convincing a child that they're invisible? That ish is traumatic. And time <laughs> to make my dog feel like he's not invisible. Let me go tend to him and I'll be back. Demental, demental. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? This is like. <laughs> Did you guys rehearse that or something? Like, y'all did that all on cue. Y'all practiced that in front of the mirror, you weirdos. You do not want to insult the hippogriff. Now, who'd like to come and say hello? Harry literally didn't get the memo. <laughs> you can go and pat him now. P pet him? That thing is gonna beak my eyeball out. Not even my skull. Oh, what the? What What for? Literally, what, where'd you even get that apple from? You, you're carrying that around just cuz? It's just in the pocket of your robe? <laughs> Not the little... They let you write him now. What? what? That's, that went from zero to a hundred real quick, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For an early 2000s film, this is not bad. That creature thing looking pretty realistic to me, even though it's not realistic, but like, you know what I mean. Oh, oh he's having so much fun. The music. I mean, I would scream like that if I was on like a... Hippogriff? Is that what it was called? Yes, you're not dangerous at all, are you? For why? Oh, you're gonna regret this. You brought it onto yourself. You freaking shoved people and you were like, out of my way. Can anybody tell me what a boggart looks like? No one knows. When'd she get here? Did she take every course available at Hogwarts? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> you're pretty ridiculous. <laughs> good one, Edge, good one. This class is ridiculous. Very good. Did I just make the same joke as Draco Malfoy? Should I quit? I- I should just go. <laughs> oh no, is this Neville's scene of being yeeted out somewhere? Door to Narnia who? Ridiculous! <laughs> what a costume. It's looking good on you, Professor Snape, not gonna lie. You work in that outfit better than I ever could. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, spiders! That makes sense, because in the second movie, he hates spiders! Ridiculous! Oh! Oh, I love it! Oh, this is such a fun class! You know what? So far, Defense of the Dark Arts teacher, 10 out of 10. Ridiculous! <laughs> Bro, that's just another nightmare. Bro, she should have failed that. That is horrible. That's horrifying. That's scary on its own. Ooh! Bro, how did I not notice that his biggest fear is the full moon? Oh my god, it makes so much sense now. Whoa, what? No permission form signed, no visiting the village. So I thought if you signed it, then I could I go. I can't. Only a parent or a guardian can sign. But my guardian isn't even a guardian. He should literally be taken away due to child abuse. He should not 
have Harry under his gu guard? <laughs> I don't know. What's going on? You probably never forgot the password again. Hey, how do you forget the password to your own dormitory? Isn't it consistent? Isn't it always the same? He's here! Somewhere in the castle! <gasps> Sirius Black! Black? Oh, Jinx! But also, oh my god, why does he have any business with you though? Like, what is the point of moving you? Like, ah ha ha! Me, Sirius Black, the crazy lunatic person that y'all are scared of. I moved a lady t from one painting to another. <laughs> Wait, 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 what was that? What was the thing that Malfoy did? Woo! Turn to page 394. Which one of you can tell me the difference between an animagus and a werewolf? A werewolf has no choice. He'd kill his best friend if he crossed his path. Oh my god, I remember! I remember! Right? Isn't, Lu isn't Loop, Professor Lupin, Loop, isn't he a werewolf? Right? So that's why he can't teach right now? Does Snape just reveal it also subtly? Like, maybe he's giving, like, Harry a clue. Or maybe he's just giving the audience a clue. Maybe it's just supposed to be, like, foreshadowing. Page 394. I heard you the first time! Uh... Man and wolf, werewolf, man. Don't do your eyebrow thing to me, bro! Stop with the eyebrows! Honestly, you're an artist, bro. Like, that's not bad. <laughs> I don't want to make fun of you, but... You got a gift! <laughs> okay, how dangerous is this, though? Like, what are the chances of them actually being struck down by lightning? Let's say you're, like, all the way high up in the clouds, and but you're moving at a fast rate. Could you still be struck by lightning? <laughs> the answer is yes, I guess. <laughs> the Dementor! He's turning into ice! Screw the game! Get out of there, Harry! Which way is up and which way is down? I literally couldn't tell you. Where's this broom? Where'd your broom go, bro? Arresto momentum! Arresto momentum! What'd you expect? You fell over 100 feet. That was way over 100 feet. Your broom, it, it sort of <gasps> blew into the Whomping Willow. And... Of course the willow destroyed it because the willow is so sassy! Just everything going downhill for Harry, I guess. So the Dementors are here to protect. And yet, the Dementor is out to get Harry? Huh? I am confuzzled. They feed on every good feeling, every happy memory. The Dementors affect you most of all because there are true horrors in your past. Oh, so that's why? Someone needs to explain this in the comments below, but the Dementors are kind of drawn to that, I guess. And because Harry has experienced those traumas, that's why it goes for him? That there is the secret to our success, George. If you will. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. You solemnly swear that you're up to no good? Is that really Dumbledore? In his study. Pacing. I mean, this map shows everyone. <gasps> everyone. Where they are, what they're doing every minute of every day. I, I get it. I see why you're up to no good now. Because the only reason why you would know that is when you don't want to be discovered from doing something shady, probably. Mischief managed. Otherwise, anyone can read it. Mischief managed. Mischief managed? That's so cute! That's so clever! Oh my gosh, I get it. This is literally a map for people who are just trying to be sneaky. For shady deeds. I love it. Do you want to move a bit closer? Huh? Closer? To keep warm? I think it's time we teach Weaselby how to respect his superiors. You cannot be superior with that hat on, bro. Uh, uh, uh. How are you doing that in a cloak, though? Without, like, anything peeking through? Please, breathe quieter, Harry. They can definitely hear you. He destroyed it. A finger. That all was left a finger. Just a finger was left of Peter Pettahoo? The heck is wrong with Sirius Black? He's all seriously evil. Sirius Black was and remains to this day Harry Potter's godfather. He was Harry Potter's godfather? And now he wants to murder him? It's the ones you never expect. How'd it go, Hagrid? I was about to say, who freaking skipped that chonkiness of a rock. Hagrid, that is a talent and a half. I love how Hagrid's coat just kind of blends with his hair. Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. Who? Am I stupid? 
who sends it to death? Do we think that he shot that scene in the lake and the kids were waiting on the shore so that they didn't have to do the visual effects of him looking bigger than them? Spiders, they want me to tap dance. I don't want to tap dance. You tell those spiders wrong. I used to tap for like 10 years. Tap dancing is great. It's actually a lot of fun and it is a, definitely a skill. I thought there was only a finger left of him. Oh my gosh, that's actually terrifying. Of a person that's not supposed to be alive? Where are you? Show yourself. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Why is there a random mirror in the hallway? How extraordinarily like your father you are, Potter. Strutting about the castle. My dad didn't strut. <laughs> How do you know that your dad didn't strut? I would appreciate it if you could lower your wand. <laughs> Harry is so sassy this movie. I love it. He's no more Mr. Nice Guy. You don't know my dad, even though he probably knows your dad better than you know your dad. Ooh, too soon. Sorry, my bad. Offer their compliments to Professor Snape and request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. Oh, shh. Snape, don't worry, your nose isn't that abnormally large. Just don't call his dad arrogant next time, you know? Maybe he wouldn't have called out the nose. It's merely a parchment designed to insult anyone who tries to read it. It's it actually said the thing about the nose? Quite frankly, I am astounded that you didn't hand it in. Did it never occur to you that this in the hands of Sirius Black is a map to you? But honestly, wouldn't it be safest in Harry's hand so at least he knows that Sirius doesn't have it? No, I will not. Cover up for you again, Harry. Do you hear me? That's fair. This teacher's kind of goaded. Like, even though he's strict, he clearly cares about Harry. I like it. Who is that? Hello? Did I just see a face? Yes? That's my name. Don't wear it out. Who is that? Sirius Black? <gasps> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Gosh. He who betrayed his friends whose heart rots with murder shall break free. Oh, what? Are you okay? Sorry, dear boy. Did you say something? Br no, but you and like 10 other voices said something. A lot of these like fade ins and fade outs to blacks. And it's it's spotlight esque, where it's like kind of like zoning in on one point and then opening in another. It reminds me of theater. Kind of like it. Kind of love it. Who are you? Like, that's a literal axe murderer. You're not telling me that he's just chilling on the grounds of Hogwarts and- He's not worth it. <laughs> you scared Malfoy or something? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Did she just punch him? That felt good. <laughs> I'm sure it did. <laughs> Literally, Hagrid be nose arc up in here, like, having every witch species. You're alive. I'm gonna keep a closer eye on your pets, Ron. I think that means you're someone an apology. I want a written essay apology to Hermione, all right? You think she's a liar? I meant me. Oh my God, who's chucking rocks? Yeah, you wish you knew. Is that Axe guy supposed to be the executioner? I just put two and two together. I thought I just saw... Never mind. Saw what? Saw what? Don't you just love that I've seen this movie before and I still have no idea what's going on over here? Like, I couldn't even guess. Use your brain, Ange! No, not the Hippliffliff! It's so gruesome, why even kill it? <gasps> Scabbers! Scabbers just bit you and is running away? Hello? Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait! There's something wrong. There's something up with the rat, right? Oh my gosh, I it's like coming back to me. There's something wrong with the rat. I forget what it is. Harry, I'm highly run. What? Oh my god! Is that the werewolf from the same from the beginning of the movie too? <laughs> oh my god, that's literally Pennywise who? Where's Harry? It's a trap. He's a dog. He's an animagus. Are you? Are you? Oh. Are you serious, Black? If you want to kill Harry, you'll have to kill us too. Only one would die tonight. Then it'll be you! Ah! Oh my god, Harry really going for it! You're literally going for it? He's a lunatic! <laughs> Look at the confusion in my eyes! You you showed up at a very convenient time! How did you know? <laughs> oh, they're friends? I found him. I know. I understand. Let's kill him! No! 
He's a werewolf. That's why he's been missing classes. I knew it. I actually knew that. I remembered that. But I did not remember him being the bad guy. It's because he's not. Come on, let's kill him. Wait. I did my waiting. 12 years of it in Azkaban. Azkaban. Somebody did betray your parents. Who was it then? Peter Pettigrew. And he's in this room right now. He's in this room. The rat. Come out of play. Snape? Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Um, so is the Shrieking Shack moving or is it just me? Expelliarmus. What? Snape was trying to help you. But he wants information, so I kind of respect it. Pettigrew's alive. And he's right there. You're rat! This cabbage has been in my family for 12 years! Curiously long life for a common garden rat! That's what I said! That's what I said! I literally was like, what's the lifespan of a rat? And I didn't even remember that this I swear to God! I know I told you that I remembered parts of this, which I did. I am not faking it. I told you which parts I remembered. I did not know that that was right! <laughs> Hi, Peter! Oh, and he's missing a finger! So. The rat was the one that sold James and Lily to Voldemort? But if Voldemort didn't kill you, then we would. Together. No! It's because Harry probably wants information? I said we'd take you to the castle. After that, the Dementors can have you. I'm oh, just kidding. He just he wants him to suffer, I guess. Huh? I literally, I thought it was like a twist in a twist. I'm like, oh my god, he's bad because he's working with Sirius. But Sirius is actually not bad, so then he's actually good? I just had a whiplash effect. That looks really painful. They, uh, they might chop it. They might chop. Who's, who's they, Ron? The medical team that was waiting for you in there? But if you ever wanted a different home. Take it, take it, take it, yes. I know you're a lunatic, and I know you probably just, you came out of 12 years of prison for something that wasn't your fault, so you probably have, like, you know, you don't know, you don't remember what society's like. 12 years is a long time, you know, the technological advances that probably happened in those 12 years is crazy. You know, who knows, maybe the iPod Touch came out at that time. I don't know, what year is this made? To be honest, I don't remember. Oh my god, it's a full moon. Harry was just about to get a new home, too. <laughs> no. He's a rat. Get it? Because he ratted James out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be so sad if Sirius Black dies. <laughs> Who in the awoos? Who on earth can be literally calling for him right now? You got like a pack or something? Is that your mom calling you for dinner? This is the thing with the time thingy that changed, right? Like, I literally thought this whole movie had to do with, like, something with time. It was probably, like, just a fraction of what this movie was. And, of course, that's what I remember. Do the thingy! Expect- ex Bob, Expecto thingy! Expecto Patronum! Let's go! Oh, he's protecting his godfather! <laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again! Expecto Patronum, Expecto Patronum, Expecto Patronum! What? What is that? Is that his life literally in a single light orb? What are you? A deer? A moose? Are you like a spirit animal? Oh my... Literal guardian angel. The camera. It was so good. It followed him down. He just so gently and elegantly just passed out. Listen, Harry, they've captured Sirius. You mean they're gonna kill him? No, it's worse. They're gonna expel him? Will either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed? Or worse, expelled? Ex 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 you think expelled is worse than getting killed? A child's voice, however honest and true, is meaningless <gasps> to those who've forgotten how to listen. Actual pain. This Dumbledore is kind of a jokester. A little bit less serious. This black is in the topmost cell of the Dark Tower. You would do well, I feel, to return before this last chime. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Reversing time. Reversing time. That's what I remember. <laughs> she said, get out of here. This is my job. Oh, and the... Uh, I love how they had so many shots of this clock, too, throughout the movie. Uh, book readers were probably like... I get it. This is a time turner, Harry. McGonagall gave it to me first term. This is how I've been getting to my lessons all year. 
Of course, that's what it is, Hermione. I admire you, seriously. Literally, no one wants to learn that much, most likely. Except for you. That's why I respect you, honey. You're badass. If we succeed, more than one innocent life could be spared. Oh, yeah! Hogwarts Hippolyph! I would literally suck with the time turner because I can't even remember what happens 20 minutes ago in the film. <laughs> like, you know. All hope is lost. Seriously. And one chance? Done. Over within the first two minutes of trying to do it. Hermione, that was you throwing those rocks? It's a time, it's like a loop. This is genius. JK rolling on something else. Is that really what my hair looks like from the back? Oh, Hermione. No way. She was so close to seeing herself, which probably would have been bad, right? <laughs> Do you guys know that Rick and Morty episode when Rick replaced Morty with two crows? <laughs> come on, quickly. Come with us now, okay? Come on. <laughs> He's like, I've accepted my fate. Me realizing that their video is not going to be done that day. <laughs> so he just squashed a pumpkin for the fun of it. I did see someone. That someone made the Dementors go away. Only a really powerful wizard could have conjured it. It was my dad. Oh. It was my dad who conjured the Patronus. Harry, your, your dad's dead, I know. But he's here in our hearts, Harry! When we free him, I'll never have to go back to the Dursleys. It'll just be me and him. Oh, Look at the hope in his face. Oh, okay, not so hopeful anymore. That zoom in was a zoom in. That went literally like not even eyebrow showing at that point, bro. I was admiring the camera this, this entire time. That shot, questionable. Oh. That was her Hermione howling like a wall. No way. Bro, Hermione really sacrificing her life for her life. <laughs> my dog is playing with my mom upstairs, by the way. So if you hear barking, that's, that's him. Run for your lives! Oh! Oh, thank God for the the hiplomyth. Any minute, right there, you'll see. Yeah, with the moose. Expecto Patronum! The mind effery that is going on right now. So you saw yourself saving you. <laughs> so you were the moose. Don't come at me. I know it was him that conjured the Patronus. I didn't actually believe that he became the moose. I'm not <laughs> that stupid. It wasn't my dad I saw earlier. It was me. Hermione's face is like, I, I know. I was trying to tell you that the whole time. So they're going to say serious because now they have the hip, hip, um, didn't if. Ah, uh, <laughs> literally the one thing that they needed was this hawk horse thing. But what about Peter Pretty Brew? You're meant to be here. You're innocent. Yeah, but not everyone believes it. You look so like your father. He's probably not tired of hearing it. That probably makes him so happy to be able to hear that there are people who have memory of his family, of his parents. <laughs> so you... So you didn't have to bow to it? This hypnotist is definitely showing a little bit of favoritism to this guy. Well, he's free. We did it. Did what? Good night. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. <gasps> oh, it was literal perfect timing. Honestly, Ron, how can somebody be in two places at once? Poor Ron was left out on this adventure. I resigned, actually. Dang. Hogwarts can't get a Defense of the Dark Arts teacher to stay for their lives, man. If I am proud of anything, it is of how much you have learned this year. Since I am no longer your teacher, I feel no guilt whatsoever about giving this back to you. This teacher is so good. I'm gonna miss this guy. Does he come back? Please tell me he comes back. A new broom. It's a fun oh, let's go. I'm actually so smart. Oh, that's so nice. Bro, you're rich. You can get your own broom. I'm glad he has family like people now, though. <laughs> Not the freeze frame shot. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Oh, that! Oh, having Daniel Radcliffe just record that and say, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good and have that be the cue to the credits is so good. And then the credits being the map. 
<laughs> so good. Wait, this one, this one blew my mind a little bit. That was so good. Let me say that I was well aware that this is the one that everyone was telling me is the best one. And it's so good. The mind tricks that it played on me, misleading me everywhere for only it to be something that I wouldn't have expected at all. Like out of the first three films, honestly, this was probably the most clever and the most like out there. I still really like the second one though. And I think it's because I just had no expectations for the second one. Whereas this one, I did have a little bit of a higher standard because so many people have told me it's their favorite Harry Potter film. Definitely things I didn't remember, like the whole, the, the time thing. I knew it had something to do with time, but I did not remember that this was what it was. Like I was already bamboozled by like the double twist that was happening. So it was, ugh. Ugh, ugh. Also, the camera work and the theatricalness of this film was honestly my favorite out of the three. And it's so, and it was different. The vibe of this one was so, so different from the first two. It was more mature. Blah, 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 blah. It was so unpredictable that I couldn't even remember what the unpredictabilities were. <laughs> Please leave a comment down below what you thought about this movie. Did you watch it in theaters? Did you watch it at home? What was your experience with it? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already to stay tuned to all my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full length commentary of this movie, make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty y'all, have the best day ever and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye!